log in to the admin dashboard of your site then go to plugins and click add new click on the search box and type for the wcfm plugin let's install this plugin it is best multi vendor marketplace for woocommerce let's install it let's activate it wcfm marketplace requires the core plugin to be active let's install it you can see here is the text for welcome to woocommerce multi vendor marketplace this quick setup wizard will help you to configure the basic settings and you will have your marketplace ready in no time if you want to go through these steps for configuring the basic settings then click on the let's go button you can also skip this process by clicking not right now button here are all the steps which admin can configure through this process enable or disable these options as per the requirement click on the continue button here are the options for marketplace setup admin can set these options as per the requirement let's finish all these steps admin can also do this configurations later via settings menu Now let's click on this button. It will open the WCFM dashboard for admin. Here is the WCFM admin dashboard. There are many tabs displayed in the left sidebar. Let's check the basic options related to the auction product. Let's click on the product menu. admin can create products from this menu it displayed all the products in this list next is the auctions menu admin can create new auction products from this menu now let's check the store vendors it displayed all the users which are registered to the admin site as a vendor it also displayed other information like store name gross sales earnings and withdrawals now let's check the settings menu you can see that many tabs are displayed here let's check some of the basic settings click on the modules it displayed the module list which is shown in the wcfm dashboard for vendors admin can enable or disable it as per the requirement those modules that are disabled are not displayed to the vendor it means vendor cannot use those modules in their dashboard now let's check the commission settings first field is commission for there are two options for that admin and vendor let's select the vendor it means when the product expires and the winner pays 
then payment goes to the vendor. Next is the commission mode. Admin can select any value from this drop down. Let's select fixed value. Next field is for commission fixed. Let's enter $90. And here we select the vendor option. It means the $90 amount goes to the vendor and the remaining amount goes to the admin. Using this setting, the payment can be distributed between the admin and vendor. Now let's check the payment settings. The first option is for withdraw payment methods. The first option is for withdraw payment methods. Here admin has to select the withdrawal payment methods for the vendor. Vendor can do the withdrawal process only using selected methods. Let's enable the stripe. Here admin has to enter the information about stripe account like stripe client id, published key and secret key. After adding this information click on the save button. Now let's check the capability. From here admin can control the specific functionalities and menus for the vendor. Vendor can use only enabled options in their dashboard. For example, here is the list of the product type. If admin does not want vendor to create all types of product, then admin can disable some of the product type from here. Admin needs to install the WCFM WooCommerce multi-vendor membership plugin for vendor registration. Go to the plugins and click add new button. Search here for this plugin. Let's install this plugin. Click on the activate button. Now any user can register on the admin site as a vendor. Now open the my account page. There is an option for become a vendor at the end of the registration form. Click on this link. It will open the vendor registration form. It will open the vendor registration form. Vendor can register from here. Let's enter the data. First field is for the email id. Next is the first name. Next is the last name. Next field is for the store name. Now enter the password. Now click on the register button. And you can see the registration is complete and it will open the wizard for set up the vendor dashboard. Let's go through it. Click on the let's go button. These options are for store setup. Vendor can add these informations here or they can add the information later via settings menu. Let's click the continue. Next option is payment setup. First field is preferred payment method. There is only one payment method available in this drop down because admin has enabled only stripe method for vendor. Now vendor has to connect their stripe account. Let's click on the connect with stripe button. It will open the setup for payment. Here I am configuring the test account. So email is not needed in the test mode. Enter the phone number here and click on the continue button. Next is the country field. Select the country from this drop down. Next is the type of business. Select any option as per the requirement. 
and click on the continue. Now user has to enter the address, phone number and social security number and click on the continue button. Next option is for select an account for payout. Here I am using the test account so click on the use test account. After that click on the submit button. When you click submit button it will redirect to the WCFM vendor dashboard. Here you can see that Stripe account is connected for vendor. Here is the home page for vendor dashboard. You can see that there are many tabs displayed in the left sidebar. Let's check some important options in the vendor dashboard. You can see there is a auctions menu available here. Let's click on it. Vendor can create their own auction products from here. Currently there is a no auction product available. Now let's check settings menu. Here you can see that the store setup is not completed. There are some informations that vendor has to fill out for their store. First tab is the store. Here vendor has to enter the detailed information of the store like store banner image, logo and description. Next is the location. Here vendor has to enter the address of the store. Next is the payment. It displayed the payment methods which is enabled from the WCFM admin dashboard. We have enabled the Stripe payment method from the admin dashboard. So it is displayed in this drop down. We have already connected Stripe account for vendor. We have checked all the important settings of the WCFM admin dashboard and vendor dashboard. In this way, admin can configure the WCFM plugin on the admin site.